everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to make some small cakes with some fruit on top. So here I have a piece of rest clay and I uh, pushed it in a flat circle. Here I am using a uh, tool that I have to make some indents on the side to make it like a little uh, tart cake shape. And I'm going to bake this and make a mold of it. My mold is now hardened, so I am going to take this little one out of it. And now I can take some dough colored clay. I will show you how I make that right here. And I just put the clay into the mold, push it really, really good in there so I get all the details with, and I cut off the excess clay. I'm taking a truce breath that I didn't use for anything else than polymer clay and I'm going to texture the surface here before I push the little cake bottom out. I'm using this light brown soft pastel to color the bottom of the cake and after I use that I take a little of this red brown color as well just to make it look a little baked. And then I am going to bake these. I have these dessert topping masters and I have it in a yellow and a blue and I am just placing a amount of that on the little top of the cake, spreading it out. I need a little more here. So just putting that on there and spreading it out. If you don't have this, you can use a female liquid icing. That is a female liquid with a little color of clay in there mixed into a um, icing like uh, texture and you just put that on with the fruits and then you bake it all again but with this you don't need to bake it again. I placed all my cakes on a piece of double sided tape that I put on this pop cycle uh, stick and that will keep them in place while working on them and while drying. And then I'm just going to decorate them with all kinds of different things that I made through the years, like strawberries, bananas, chocolate, and so on. The dessert topping master will dry in around 10 minutes, so you have a little time to work with it, and then you just leave them to dry. When they're all dry, you can give them some glaze. I'm not showing that right here, but I actually gave them a little UV resin and put them into my UV light after that so that they had a little shine on the fruits and on the icing. Um, the icing can be matte, but I liked it to be um, glossy this time. But that's all there is to these small delicious cakes. They are very easy to do if you have made some canes like I did. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Happy crafting!